Hi, my name is Nanette and welcome to Narcissism Exposed. And if you haven't already subscribed, do hit the button below and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Today we're going to talk about, so what is the narcissist looking for? Well, there are two words that they are using and I've heard them be used constantly. So the first is they're looking for a prospect and they will actually use that word prospect. They're looking for a prospect. Why do you think that they use that, that type of a word? Normally on a dating site, you're not looking for a prospect. You're looking for a potential person to date. You're looking for somebody interesting. You're looking for somebody who uh, has great qualities. Prospecting makes me think of digging for gold like a prospector. The other word that they'll use many times is candidate. They're looking for a candidate. And those two words are just give me chills up my spine because what they're actually looking for is grade A supply. Yes, you guessed it. And they're also looking for their next victim. That's right, their next victim. And when you or I go on a dating site and uh, let's say we're single and we meet somebody, we meet up with somebody and we're just casually finding out about them. So what kind of activities do you like to do? What kind of hobbies do you have? Things of that nature because we're genuinely interested in getting to, to know that person. But what the narcissist is doing under the radar is they're putting you on a job interview. Yeah, that's right. They are putting you in an interview setup to see if you're suitable, if you're qualified for the job as grade A supply. So unknowingly, you're the job applicant on a job interview. And here's what a narcissist is looking for. Number one, somebody that has loads of empathy and is passionate about people and being helpful and kind. That's the number one thing they're looking for is empathy. And it's the number one thing they have zero with. They have no empathy, but yet that's the very thing that they are looking for. Number two, they're looking for somebody who's dependable who's reliable, who's responsible, who has a home, has a car, has a great job, has resources. Why? Because they're going to be using that person and they want to make sure they have a good supply of what they want from you. Number three, they're looking for somebody with high intelligence, a high IQ. Usually those types of people are, uh, they're problem solvers. They like to fix things. They have high capabilities. So they want to make sure you have not only the aptitude that they want in their victim, in their supply, but they also want to know that you like to take care of and take on problems because you may be a perfectionist. You're the fixer type person. Number four, they want somebody who looks good, but for their own egotistical reasons, they want you to look good so that they can look good. Number five, here's where it gets a little creepier. They want somebody who's vulnerable. They'll ask you about your dating history, your relationship history. They want to hear if you have been a victim of abuse or you have several broken relationships where um, you were used and they want to see how broken you may be and, or how thirsty and maybe hungry, desperate you are to get onto another relationship. And number six, in light of number five, what, what I just spoke about, they want to see if you have low self-esteem now, if you have self-worth doubt, if you're at a weak and vulnerable place in your life, then they will know just what to say to get to you. And number seven, they want somebody who's a blame taker. 
somebody who will say, well, you know, I think it was my fault and um, I'll take ownership for that and, and also for this other person too. It must have been me. That's why he or she acted that way. They want to see how far that they can deflect their evil deeds onto you and see if you'll take the blame for it. Pretty creepy. Now, narcissists will go after a, a number of people that are good and kind and empathetic that have most of these characteristics. However, they are also looking for that good Christian man or that good Christian woman. Why? Because as I said, the narcissist has allowed devil spurts to infiltrate his or her thinking and control their thought patterns and their alternate reality. It is now etched into their very fiber, their very being. And the devil hates anyone who worships God, the one true God. He hates that. And so, yes, I'm a target. You're a target. Anyone standing on God's word who's born again, they are a target. Why not just, why get just an empathetic, kind person when you can get an empathetic, kind Christian person so you kind of get killed two birds with one stone? That is the devilish, demonic underlying outlook to why they choose you and why they chose me three times. So moving forward, um, I've heard many people, they'll ask and say, hey, Nanette, so why do I seem to attract these evil people, these narcissists? It's because of who you are, your fantastic, great qualities of who you are. They're watching you so that they can pick you. But the tables are being turned now we, the empaths, the Christian, good, kind people, strong, we are now, the tables have been turned and we are watching the narcissist. Our eyes are on the narcissist and we are exposing them. And this is really very exciting times to understand the dynamics and the um, incredible impact this is going to make on society as a whole. So I'm excited to see what's going to be happening for all of us as we apply God's word and we expose the narcissist and we allow God's word to heal our heart. And if you have a situation where you have seen the victorious power of God's word in your life regarding a narcissist who was abusing you, Put that down in the comments. We are here for each other. And what you share is going to help other people. And if you have a specific prayer request, leave that in the comments as well. I am praying for all of you every day. And we are praying for each other. This is going to be such a powerful community, such an impactful community. And together, we're going to stand boldly on God's word against narcissism. So until next time, be blessed in your heart and walk in peace.